look at that grade A. Look at it. Awful. Anyway, um, I'm Lorian. I'm a tarot reader and general busybody in the way of the occult. I'm here to bring you your monthly tarot readings for your individual signs. Thank you so much for those who have actually subscribed. I wanted to give a personal note to you for that. And also if you'd like any more general if any sorry about that bird flew past if you'd like a personal reading please get in touch with me if you have any spiritual questions i'm always on hand please don't hesitate to get in touch um and hopefully i'll have a video camera next week so more readings to come hello gemini thanks for watching this video for june Let's take a look and see what we have coming up for you. I have a Gemini moon, so I'm hoping this is good too. I'm using the Druidcraft Tarot deck. Um, a dear friend gave this to me for my birthday, actually, last year. And it's become very important in my personal practice. So I hope you get a lot of energy from these as much as I do. Um, along the top, we have four cards, one representing the energies of around one week. And the bottom card represents the overall theme for June. You may possibly think that there are some scary cards here. But it all looks to... I think it all looks to be coming together almost. Um, as ever, if you feel like you want me to go over a bit more detail and in depth on a one-to-one -one personal basis, do get in contact on the links below to see what I can do for you. But for now, here's the general reading for Gemini. The first card, actually, the Queen of Cups, has come up once before. I think it was for Libra. And it means much the same here. I would say that emotional sensitivity, kind of owning your own emotions and your feelings, um, are coming into the fore here. So you are going to feel more intuitive, more in touch with your inner self. Um, if you're a male, it doesn't necessarily indicate that you're going to be in touch with your feminine side. Um, it just means that you're going to be more in tune with what's going on around you and internally. You may feel like you actually get a message from somewhere else during this time. Um, I think that you are going to also take ownership of that progression and that... Um, moving forwards in regards to using that intuition so you're not going to put this to one side and you're certainly not going to let anyone else take that certainty of emotion away from you yes you may feel more like standing up to those who try and do that to you um, this certainly seems a theme for the month as well um, and you might feel less analytical in this first week than you normally do but if you do feel the need to push forwards your intuition will tell you where to go but the control that you have is still there i would say that you have a lot of promise coming through when it comes to the beginning of the month i'd even say that you might be getting a little bit more spiritual and in touch with your alternative side because you will literally be feeling more at ease with nature things around you again spirit guides seem to come in quite prominently here um so an issue may be illuminated as well so i'd also say that because of the indication of what's to come in the next few weeks judging from the cards you will be gathering strength during this time it's almost like you know instinctively that you're going to have some challenges coming up and that you'll need to be ready to meet them because the King of Wands in the second week is very much in control of what he's doing and the fire he holds is all about personal belief. So you've had your moment of respite to consider where you're going and now it comes to the fire in your belly to see it through. So the communication here will be on point. It could be associated with the arts, um, craft, charity or just forging your own way forwards. However, there's also a sense that there'll be a little little to no sensitivity towards those who feel a bit weak around you. Um, so in this week particularly, if somebody's getting on your nerves, if somebody feels a bit negative, you won't want to pay attention to them. That's almost a Debbie Downer attitude and it's not the way you want to go. I think that you might be able to express your financial and creative ideas in this week to forge forwards, but you'll also be wanting to break out of the routine. Routine is boring. 
I mean, it's structure, but routine is boring. I'm very much of a Sagittarius in that way. So don't get fooled by routine. There is a structure there. It's there to make you at ease sometimes. Yes, but not all the time. And I think the key here is if you feel like pushing out of that routine, do take a risk, but don't get fooled as well by the sense of, I need to get out of this. Trust you in knowing, trust the intention that you set out in the first week and just go forward from that. Because the indication here in the third week is now you've con concentrated and communicated where you stand, what you want, this is the lay of the land, you will now go inwards. And instead of branching out going, oh, this and this and this, you're going to go inwards and you're going to actually seek your own guidance. So it may even be that now you've set the intention as well, you have to work on yourself to get where you want to go. See the progression from the first card to the third as well, because the moon has changed, it's now a waning moon, and the person in the card is now heavily veiled. They don't have the full illumination of the moon to guide them, so they have had to bring um, a light of their own, as well as the lone wolf companion, to assist them in this personal journey. So your intuition is now more self-involved. Rather than using perhaps more of a magical instrument, you're now becoming dedicated on working on your inner self. So you've set your intention, and now you're going to go through a very strong, I would say, personal course of action. And you will be looking more into yourself and into your inner guidance and hard work. It's I would compare it merely to a writer. Um, because that's what I know most about, really. And I would say that this person is um, striving forwards, but it's, it's a solitary act of writing. So you've got all these ideas and you want to communicate to your friends about them, but then the hard work is actually sitting on your own in front of a computer, typing out the words. So that's the kind of sense that's getting from this third week for you, Gemini. <sighs> It's a very good card here as well for the third week, um, indicating that you're on the right track as well. So I think, again, you'd sort of fine-tuning yourself. However, normally, when the way you know that you're on the right track is that you come up against some intrusion or some challenges. So on the last week of June, it's the Five of Swords, and it shows to me that if you take a look at the second card, the King of Wands, the person in the background of the Five of Wands is appearing defeated, so the King is defeated, and someone seems to want to disrupt you in a flow here. Um, even someone who's fighting you or demanding a lot of your attention to try and influence your communications and your decisions, somebody will want to have control. In a way, communication is actually broken down, and now you might be feeling someone's jealousy coming through. I mean, if it's going well, you are going to create envy in some people. It's coming through very strongly that you may have the wind taken out of your sails. Maybe your confidence is dented. You have to worry about this person. It's kind of... Um, I mean, it will be washed over. It It isn't, in a way, anything that you have to pay great attention to. It's just going to be annoying. And things will work out if you're able to restore the communication needed between you. You can start over, almost, but be open. Somehow you will be bringing each other back to the same level. If you're able to get through to them, it's a case of warning, but not wanting to put you off. I think if, if you are able to reach out to them and get them on your side, do, do try that. I don't think it's lost in that way. Because the Seven of Wands, while it still indicates a battle or a seeming determination while other forces around you are battling against your progress you will have the advantage and it's very likely that you'll come out on top if it's your ego talking or fear of failure tell it to take a hike be on the high road keep your dignity at all times don't stoop to the petty arguments others might try and drag you down to i see nothing screaming in this spread that you need to watch out for I only see cautionary tales here towards the end that you just need your wits about you. So maybe in the third week, don't go so internal that you can't get out again to view your surroundings. 
It's something that you can take pride in this month. There's a lot of determination, a lot of will to push forwards. And all in all, I do wish you the best for the month of June. I would love to know how things go for you. Again, if you'd like me to take a personal look and greater detail to a question that you have, get in touch. Um, but in the meantime, um, do let me know how June goes for you. Send me your comments, your feedback, and I will look forward to reading for you in July.